This recording of Adelaide Metro is current as of Monday the 25th of July 2011 at 3.27pm. Adelaide Metro from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Adelaide Metro is the public transport system of the South Australian capital of Adelaide and the brand name of the Public Transport Division of the Department for Transport, Energy and Infrastructure. It is an intermodal system with services provided by bus, tram or commuter rail throughout the metropolitan area. The services, although contracted to four separate operators, are fully integrated under Adelaide Metro and share a universal ticketing system, marketing and common signage. Contents. Section 1. History. Section 2. Services. Section 2.1. Buses. Section 2.2. Commuter rail. Section 2.3. Light Rail Section 3 Interchanges Section 4 Ticketing Section 5 Future Development Section 5.1 Timeline Section 1 History the Adelaide Metro is a brand introduced in 2000 following the tender privatization of bus services previously the public transport system in Adelaide has been known under several names. From 1994 until well into 2002, the name for this South Australian State Government Department was the Passenger Transport Board. Before 1994, the system was operated by the State Transport Authority. Closer to the middle of the 20th century, the Municipal Tramways Trust was the public transport authority in Adelaide, South Australia. Adelaide removed all tram lines during the 1960s, leaving only the Glenelg line. This tram line has since been extended during 2007 by the Department of Transport, Energy and Infrastructure known as the DTEI. Please see http equals slash slash www.adelaidemetro.com.au for further historical information regarding the Glenelg tramline extension during 2007. Section 2. Services. Section 2.1. Buses. The largest element of Adelaide's public transport system is a fleet of diesel and natural gas powered buses. The majority of services terminate at the city centre or at a suburban rail station or shopping centre interchange. As contracts are revised for privatised bus operations, more cross-suburban routes are added to the network, whereas, in the past, bus routes were largely focused on moving passengers from the suburbs to the CBD. Although on most cross-suburban routes that pass through the CBD, including those using Main North and Main South roads, do not indicate that they are going beyond the CBD, it is not shown at stops, on timetables or on the buses themselves. The driver changes the bus number and route before entering the city centre without informing passengers and often results in confusion with people getting off a bus, especially if the altered bus route is the one they needed to transfer to. Adelaide Metro buses get priority on many roads and intersections with dedicated bus lanes and bus-only signal phases at many traffic lights. The Adelaide Metro buses are operated by Torrens Transit, North Eastern, Inner North, Inner South, Eastern, Western and North Western Suburban Bus Networks. Australian Transit Enterprises, trading as Southlink, the Far North and the Far South. Transit Plus, 
regional bus services and the Adelaide Hills. Transfield services will be operating the Inner North, Inner South and North East O-Bahn services from October 2011. Section 2.2 Commuter Rail The Adelaide Suburban Railway Network is operated by Department for Transport, Energy and Infrastructure but trades under the Adelaide Metro brand and consists of six lines. It is the only suburban network in Australia that still operates solely with diesel rail cars, though it is planned to electrify most lines from 2013 onwards. The current fleet consists of 70 diesel electric, 3,000, 3,100 rail cars and 29, 2,000, 2,100 diesel hydraulic rail cars. There are six rail lines, all terminating at Adelaide Railway Station in the CBD. They are Gawler Central, proceeds north from the Adelaide Railway Station for 42 kilometres, terminating at Gawler Central Station, Gawler. This is the most frequent and heavily patronised line on the network. On weekdays, some services terminate at Gawler Station. Norlunga Centre proceeds south from the Adelaide Railway Station for 30 kilometres and terminates at Norlunga Centre. On weekdays, some services terminate at Brighton. From the 6th of February 2011, the rail service between Oaklands Park and Norlunga Centre has closed for approximately six months with a shuttle bus service replacing it to permit pre-electrification work to be done on the line. Tonsley, a four kilometre spur from the Norlunga line to Tonsley Station. Outer Harbour proceeds northwest from the Adelaide Railway Station for 22 kilometres and terminate at Outer Harbour Station. On weekdays, some services terminate at Glanville. Grange, a six kilometre spur from the Outer Harbour Line to Grange Station. Belair, proceeds southeast from the Adelaide Railway Station for 22 kilometres, winding through the Adelaide Hills to terminate at Belair. Section 2.3 Light Rail Adelaide's once extensive tram network was dismantled in the middle of the 20th century, leaving only Glenelg tram running 12 kilometres between Victoria Square in the city centre and Moseley Square on the beachfront at Glenelg. The majority of the line is on a dedicated corridor through the western suburbs, but travels on roadway in the city from the terminus to South Terrace and along Jetty Road in Glenelg. An extension of the line from Victoria Square down King William Street and along North Terrace to a terminus near Morfitt Street Bridge opened to the public on the 14th of October 2007. The extended line now has stops adjacent to key city points including Rundell Mall, the Adelaide Railway Station and the City West Campus of the University of South Australia. Plans to build new lines from the city to Amy Stadium at West Lakes, Port Adelaide and Semaphore have been proposed. A plan to create a city loop by extending the line through either Morfitt or Grey Streets, Curry Street and Grote Street to rejoin the line in Victoria Square has also been proposed. As of November 2009, there is a great amount of work occurring with light rail in Adelaide. The 2.8 kilometre extension of track from the existing City West stop to the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. The South Road Tram Bridge will be in operation by December 2009. A complete replacement of the line's overhead wiring is also underway and six new trams, imported from Spain, have already started to arrive and will be in operation by 2010.
The line is operated by Trans Adelaide from Glengarry Depot using 11 Flexity Classic trams on weekdays. By 2010, the extended line will use 16 trams and 5 Heritage H-Class trams on weekends, public holidays and special occasions. It is inevitable that the Heritage H-Class trams will be withdrawn from the city's light rail network in the near future. Section 3. Interchanges Aberfoyle Park Interchange, located in the southern suburbs at the Aberfoyle Hub Shopping Centre. Arndale Interchange, located in the northwestern suburbs at the Centro Arndale Shopping Centre. Blackwood Interchange, located in the southeastern suburbs in the Adelaide Hills and provides train transfers from the Belair Line with bus connections to the Stirling, Crafers and Allgate stations. Glanville Interchange, located at the bottom of Semaphore Road and provides bus and train transfers from the Outer Harbour Line to Westlakes, Port Adelaide and Osborne. Salisbury Interchange, located in Adelaide's northern suburbs and interconnects train services on the Gawler Central Line with bus services to areas around metropolitan Adelaide, including Salisbury North, Paralawi, Burton, Virginia, Greenworth, Elizabeth, Hillbank, Greenfields, Mawson Lakes and Parafield Gardens. Elizabeth Interchange Located in Adelaide's northern suburbs and interconnects train services on the Gawler Central Line with bus services to areas around metropolitan Adelaide including Salisbury North, Salisbury, Manapara and Smithfield. Norlunga Centre Interchange Located in Adelaide's southern suburbs and interconnects train services on the Norlunga Centre Line with bus services to the outer southern suburbs including Aldinga, Seaford and Moana. Smithfield Interchange Located in Adelaide's northern suburbs and interconnects train services on the Gawler Central Line with bus services to areas around metropolitan Adelaide including Manapurra Craigmore and Andrews Farm. Tea Tree Plaza Interchange. Located in the northeastern suburbs at the Westfield Tea Tree Plaza and the Tea Tree Plus shopping centres. It is the terminus of the Oban Busway. Paradise Interchange. Located in the northeastern suburbs with bus connections to Para Hills, Athelston, Newton, and Campbelltown, intermediate station on the Oban Busway. Clemsig Station, located in the inner northeastern suburbs with bus connections to Oakden and the Circle Line, intermediate station on the Oban Busway. Mawson Interchange, located in Adelaide's northern suburbs and interconnects train services on the Gawler Central Line and bus services to areas around metropolitan Adelaide, including Adelaide, Mawson Lake Central and Salisbury. Section 4. Ticketing. The Adelaide Metro ticketing system is multi-model, meaning that one ticket can be used to transfer between trains, trams and buses regardless of the service provider. The system brand is Metro Ticket. It is an automated system which uses magnetic strip tickets to encode conditions of ticket validity. The system was developed by Krauset SA, France. It was introduced on the 27th of September 1987. In 2010, a contract to introduce a smart card ticketing system in 2013 was awarded to affiliated computer services using technology used in, among others, Montreal, 
Houston, and Trelawes. Passengers are required to insert their tickets into a validating machine upon each boarding, including when transferring to another vehicle. The machine reads the ticket to check that it is valid and then magnetically encodes and prints the initial validation time and ticket type details onto the ticket. This information is only printed on the ticket the first time it is validated. Metro tickets are available in three fare types, regular fare, concession fare and student fare. The latter two are discount fares that are only available to those who present a valid entitlement card. Metro tickets are then further broken down by journey type. Single trip two section, a one way journey with two sections, about three kilometres. No transfers are allowed. Single trip zone. Unlimited transfers within two hours of initial validation. Multi-trip ticket. Ten journeys on one ticket. Available in two section or zone varieties. Day trip ticket. Allows unlimited transfers from initial validation until 4.30am the following day. Single trip and multi trip tickets are available as all times and interpeak tickets. All times allow travel at any time. Interpeak allows travel between 9.01 am and 3 pm on weekdays, excluding public holidays, for a lower price than an all times ticket. Day trip tickets allow free travel for two children aged under 15 on weekends, public holidays and during school holidays when bought by a parent or guardian. Section 5. Future Development Through the South Australian 2008 budget and as a part of the Federal Government's nation building investment, over two billion Australian dollars is being invested into transport over the next decade to revitalise the public transport network, which includes light rail. The tram line network will be extended coast to coast, providing a service running through Glenelg to the city to Westlakes and Semaphore through Port Adelaide. The light rail network will transport commuters and tourists alike from Glenelg through the city to historic Port Adelaide and along a new light rail connection to Semaphore. A new connection will also be established from Woodville via a branch line to Amy Stadium and the Westlakes retail area. The tram line is being extended further along North Terrace onto Port Road where it will travel to the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. In the 2008 South Australian budget, it was proposed that new dual voltage trams would operate alongside electric trains and use the existing Outer Harbour line and then travel to Amy Stadium and Westlakes on a new track built from the Grange line. Another extension will be built from Semaphore, linking back through the heart of Port Adelaide from Rosewater. Commuter Rail Upgrading and conversion of the suburban rail network from broad gauge to standard gauge. 25 kilovolts AC electrification of the lines to Norlunga, Grange, Outer Harbour and Goula. The purchase of over 60 new electric rail cars. 58 of the 70 existing 3,000 class rail cars will be converted to electric operation after refurbishment. By 2018 or sooner, when all the new trains are planned to be in service, the 30 older 2,000 class trains from the early 1980s will be retired. By 2013, thanks to federal funding, 
the electrified Norlunga line will be extended to a new terminus at Seaford. The upgrading electrifying of the Gawler line has also been brought forward to 2013. Buses. An extra 20 new buses a year for the next four years. The older buses that were introduced in the 1980s will also be retired in the next five to seven years. The O-Barn will also be upgraded with planned station redevelopments at key interchanges, a new ticketing system, gated interchanges, where tickets are validated before the bus arrives. The Federal Government have also provided funding to improve bus access to and from the city for O-Barn buses with either an extension of the guided busway track or bus lanes. Section 5.1 Timeline 2008 Service improvements across train, tram and bus. Order new trams. 2009 Tramline extension construction begins. Track upgrading of Norlunga Line begins, including station upgrades at Hallett Cove. Belair Line renewal. Work on the Port Adelaide Viaduct begins. Refurbishment of 3,000, 3,100 model trains begins. 2010. Tramline extension complete. New trams arrive. Resleepering of Norlunga Line continues. Resleepering of the Gawler Line begins. Order new train sets. Order new ticketing system. 2011. Electrification of Norlunga and Gawler Lines begins. Electrification of Outer Harbour and Grange Lines begins. Construction of the rail extension to Seaford begins. 2012. New trains arrive. 2013. Electrification of all lines completed. Seaford rail line completed. West Lakes rail link construction begins. 2015. 3000 class train electric conversion complete. Port Adelaide to Semaphore Rail Link construction begins. West Lakes Rail Link complete. 2017. Station upgrades including Oban complete. 2018. Port Adelaide to Semaphore Rail Link complete. All 2000 class trains withdrawn from service. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported Licence, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licences slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0. Adelaide Metro from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, spoken by Caleb Bond.